hi for the last few days there's been a buzz about a lot of gun channels being demonetized and that buzz has unfortunately created the need for me to put out this supplementary presentation in addition to our normal weekly output to address the topic and it's going to require that I talk about some things that I do not like talking about such as monetization and money I find talking about money to be vulgar and I'm going to have to talk about hawking merch yeah that's a cool word merch and corporate sponsors and I'm going to have to to some degree talk about other gun channels all of these things I find to be distasteful unfortunately it's going to be necessary that I discuss it now starting with the question is it true that a lot of gun channels have been demonetized well that depends in part on your definition of a lot I am aware that just in the last few days multiple gun channels have been demonetized but I do not know how many and I know the names of only a few and please before you make commentary telling me who has or has not been please make sure you're right before you write something like that now in discussing monetization and demonetization what is that monetization means that any presentation that you put in this format is eligible to have advertisements and you generate revenue from that advertisement being demonetized means that the management of this format has decided that they don't like your presentations for whatever reasons and so they say you are no longer eligible to get compensation for any ads you can't have any commercials on there that can be financially devastating to some channels and it depends on a lot of things and that brings me to talking about someone else's gun channel which I don't like to do but in this case it's necessary just this morning I saw a very short presentation by someone who was standing there seeming very happy with himself with a big criminal smile going on talking about how he'd been demonetized but that's okay it's gonna be okay because he has so much other income from so many other sources well I'm glad that it's going to be okay for him and I'm glad that he can be so egocentric and smug about it but by saying in a very patronizing way it's gonna be okay he's creating this mentality that is going to be okay for everyone who has monetized presentations and it's not going to be okay for everyone and so it's really irresponsible for him to say that now in talking about monetizations and compensation I have to discuss the spectrum of gun channels and this is just the world according to Paul at this end of the spectrum there are channels that call themselves gun channels but they really spend the great majority of their time sitting around the office talking while at the other end of the spectrum there are people who spend the great majority of their time on the range or in the field testing and demonstrating various things if you're closer to this end of the spectrum there is a lot of overhead involved things like the cost of targets ammo guns the gas to get to and from the range for me there's the added cost of meat targets there's also the gigantic cost of how much I had to pay to have exclusive access to this private range there's a great deal of overhead no I'm not complaining I'm explaining that's what goes on now a lot of people at this end of the spectrum they offset that overhead with their ad revenue with corporate sponsorship they get compensated with money they are provided with targets and guns and ammo and so forth they also hawk merch yeah there's that word again I find such things distasteful that's why I don't do them I do not have corporate sponsors when I pull out a box of ammo and I say this is Remington yakety yakety yak Remington has never heard of me that's just the ammo I use because I consider it to be a good ammo and it's readily available well up until recently readily available at my local stores you see me wearing this Jones cap I don't wear it because I'm a shill for the company that made it I wear it because it's eminently with the E eminently practical and because it represents the avant-garde of fashion aesthetic occasionally people ask me where can they get a Jones cap and I'll tell them that last time I checked they're available at Cabela's I'm not shilling for Cabela's Cabela's has never heard of me that's just answering the question now when you go to Cabela's last I checked they'll have this type of cover but only in the more modern camouflage patterns if you want something classic like this duck hunter pattern I got this hat from a company called mollyjogger.com again 
They have never heard of me. I'm just answering the question of where I got this hat. I do not have corporate sponsors. Because I don't hock merch and because I don't have corporate sponsors and I do have a lot of overhead, I am dependent on that monetization advertisement revenue. I do have a Patreon account and the money that is donated by those patrons is extremely helpful, highly valuable, greatly appreciated. Thank you, everybody. But we also need that monetization income. And unfortunately, without it, there's going to be a few things we have to do. And here's what this means for you. One, I may end up having to hawk some kind of merch. I find it distasteful to even say that, but such is life. Secondly, I will have to, unfortunately, have some corporate sponsors. So in the near future, if instead of wearing this hat, you see me wearing one that reads Burgerville USA, you'll understand why. Now, in talking about corporate sponsors, there's a couple of caveats that come with that. I am multiple times per week contacted by people who want me to endorse products. It's amazing how many times someone has asked me to endorse various video games. The last time I spent any real amount of time playing a video game, it was Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo 64. Ask your dad, maybe your grandpa, he might remember that. But people contact me asking me to endorse products that I don't know anything about or products that I would have zero desire endorsing. For example, just a couple of days ago, I was contacted by someone, and I know that they weren't contacting me specifically. This was a blanket email. I'm sure they had no idea who I was. But they wanted me to endorse a product called Red Bull Energy Drink. Okay, let's take a look at this. And no, I'm not being paid for this. Just trying to make a point. Okay, it says it has 2% of your daily value of calcium, 100% of niacin, 250% vitamin B, 50% pantothenic acid, and 80% of your daily recommended amount of vitamin B12. Okay, of course the label also reads, not recommended for children, pregnant or nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine, of course. Now, the ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, glucose, and then it goes on from there. So, if you wanted caffeine and sugar and carbonated water, you could take a multivitamin, drink a Coke, and get the same result, and it'd be less expensive, and I'm going to wager taste better. When I read that someone wanted me to endorse this Red Bull, I thought it was Bull. I can't imagine someone asking me to endorse this. I know I don't look like much, but there was a time when I was a U.S. Army Master Fitness Trainer. I'm also a health care professional, and I attended college where I took nutrition class and got an A. As such, I'm going to tell you energy drinks like this are not something I would endorse consuming. Not any of them, let alone Red Bull. Now, I will be the first to say I've never actually tried this product. A while ago, you may have seen me tasting Shasta and spitting it out. That was a spoof. That was just for fun. This is serious. It might be interesting to note that I've swam in shark-infested water, but I'm afraid to taste this. Tastes kind of like cherry cough syrup and swimming pool water with a hint of puke. Yes, I do know what that tastes like. Rather than me endorsing this, I think it would be better for one of those commercials where they combine products. Sometimes you'll see a commercial on television where two different companies that make two different products will advertise them together. A good example is you'll see an ad for Skippy peanut butter and Smucker's Jam, because peanut butter and jam go together. Red Bull might be best served by an advertisement like that. Let me show you what I mean. If I were going to make a commercial for two products, one of which was Red Bull Energy Drink, the commercial might look like this. 
Hi, on the table I have Red Bull Energy Drink, and in my holster I have a Taurus Judge Revolver. It jammed! A Taurus Judge Revolver loaded with birdshot using a target of Red Bull Energy Drink. The best use for both of these products. And scene. Now that demonstration actually had two purposes. One, A, if you want me to endorse a product, it has to be a product that I think is worth endorsing. One, B, it has to be a product that I know something about. Video games aren't exactly my bailiwick. The second point was to do a demonstration that illustrated a little bit about overhead. You saw me shoot five cans, I actually had to buy a 12 pack of Red Bull at a cost of $20. Those 410 shells are over a dollar a piece. There's a lot of overhead involved in this. And no, I'm not complaining, I'm not grubbing or anything else. I'm just pointing out some facts of life. That having been said, to all of those people who donated on Patreon, very useful, very helpful, greatly appreciated. All of the people who just sent me stuff, like old t-shirts to put over meat targets, and leather jackets, and targets, and duct tape, and so on. There was one person who was throwing away a leather couch. He peeled all the leather off it, sent it to me. We'll have leather skin for a long time. And that kind of stuff, very useful, very helpful, greatly appreciated. But the real bottom line here is that for the foreseeable future, we are going to keep putting out presentations as long as we can. We're going to stay on the air as long as we can. We're going to keep the quality up to the greatest of our ability. But you might notice a few changes. Things like product placement. Zevia Zero Calorie Cola. When you want everyone to know that your favorite gun is a Taurus Judge.